And this one right here, you see that, it's from the Hillsboro Bottling Works. A dig on property behind the Highland House Museum Saturday revealed pre-prohibition relics dating from the late 1800s to the early 1920s. According to workers with Dayton Diggers, the Amateur Archaeological Club conducting the excavation. Courthouse. Washington Courthouse. I thought there was a Delaware okay. bottle. We found it before. This is a Pluto water from out of the 20s. A Pluto water from out of the 20s. Yeah, it's got a little devil on the bottom. Oh, oh, I thought it was a devil. But you know more huh. about it than I do. About that, that's about the time they found Pluto, the planet out there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that kind of a branding of a bottled water. Yeah. This is white whitening. White more. Boston. Huh. <laughs> What's this other guy? Uh, it doesn't have anything. Doesn't on have anything it. Probably on just it. some medicine with it being short, like yeah. that. Yeah. It's a semi porcelain. I've never heard that term. <laughs> semi porcelain. <laughs> And it looks like somebody burned something Granted. and they just threw it away. This is a whiskey bottle. Yeah. It's yeah. It looks longer than a toothbrush. Mm-hmm. It is a toothbrush? That long? Based on initial findings the group obtained when members came to probe the site two weeks ago, excavators thought they might discover a privy. Instead, they discovered that the brick structure was a cistern, not an outhouse. So it's probably a cistern that was storm water for the livery or something that was here behind it. And uh, it looks like it might have been filled up around 1925 when they tore down the livery. So. Bob Lambert, president of the Highland County Historical Society, said he considers the dig a big success saying it gives a whole new piece of history to the Highland House. It's been very exciting. We found some wonderful artifacts. And it, it's not so much that the individual artifacts are valuable, it's just that the whole picture of uh, life at that time can be created from the items they throw away. Crockery, whiskey bottles. I don't know how they ended up in Hillsborough, but we've got whiskey bottles, uh, some soda bottles, a pan that looks like somebody boiled something in it and burnt the pan, so they just threw it away. Um, mustard jars and a ketchup bottle, a glass, antique glass ketchup bottle, um, a men's cologne bottle. It's just fascinating what was uh, life was like at the turn of the century. So I, I consider it a big success. The members of Dayton Diggers, though hoping for a privy, said they were pleased with the items that they found. Um, we were hoping for a privy so we could have went and peeled back the layers of age and such a little better than we did. Uh, this cistern, we got some neat stuff. We got something marked Hillsboro, so we thought that was kind of cool. Uh, we like seeing a little bit better older age, but pretty happy. What's the plan? We're planning to do other digs. Once we get a more exact location of where the first outhouse could have been, or the second or the third, uh, this was the most conspicuous spot that gave the best read when the first probes came through. We're also going to work with the courthouse. Um, when they put in the new Veterans Memorial on the corner, that was the site of an old cistern much like this. So we're hoping to do um, a little excavation there also. We've had a lot of visitors. There's been a lot of interest in town mm -hmm. for this uh, little endeavor. And it's the first of some new projects for the Historical Society, and I'm very grateful for everybody's support. And these guys have done a great job. They're, they're the pros at this. They've, they probably can do it in their sleep.